everybody. Welcome. Happy Wednesday. Hop on. Let's let's make some zucchini pineapple bread. I make it's just like regular zucchini bread, except I add crushed pineapple to it, and it's got some pecans in it. It is so good. It's a um, it's a favorite around our house. And so hop on. Let's do a little bit of bacon. Uh, there's a a lot of uh, <laughs> uncertainty going around and you know I like to feel better uh, so for me to uh, bacon makes me feel better so I wanted to just get on here and do a live that way um, some of you all can hop on if you hopping on later I understand people may be at work or whatever but whoever can hop on just hop on while I make some zucchini pineapple bread. Who loves zucchini pineapple bread? Who loves zucchini bread? If you ever tried it with pineapple, it's so good. It's really, it just adds a little extra sweetness to it. I love pineapple. Uh, I will share this recipe. I am going to uh, walk you through it and give you the measurements because um, uh, that way you'll know. But um, I've already got my oven preheated and um, I know personally uh, for this time of year, I love zucchini bread. And um, I picked up zucchini cheap at Aldi. Let's see, when was it? Monday. And they had them like cheap, like two big size ones. And they were cheap and I picked that up and I thought, I want to pick that up and I want to make some zucchini bread. Hey guys, say hello. Y'all can share this. I'd appreciate it. I do appreciate all of you guys for watching my videos and for everything and um you know we get some negative nancy's you know uh i posted yesterday um you know nobody you know nobody bothers me personally i don't care what people say but i'm also a firm believer i don't like negativity i don't i don't have time for it i don't want to see it there's enough negativity going on in the world so um pretty much if anybody comes on my page and they're negative or they say rude comments then i'm just going to ban them okay uh, there's no room here for people uh, downing anybody or or putting anybody down. Um, my page is for cooking and for happiness and for people who just want to uh, learn how to cook, okay? If you are like me, I like to watch people cook. I've watched videos all my life. Um, guys, before they even, before cooking videos even were a thing, I was watching uh, the Food Network. I was always watching, but before even that came about, Hey, hey, Twyla. Before even that all came about, I was watching my mom or I was watching my mama or my aunts cook. And um, my mom wasn't much, mom didn't really like to bake. She cooked, but I wanted to do both. And I, I've always loved to bake and I've always been a daredevil when it comes to cooking. I like to try new stuff. And so I would always try everything and I'd always get, um, hey, Barbara. I'd always get recipes and try them, and uh, sometimes they always didn't turn out, but that's okay. But anyway, nothing beats the smell of some banana bread or zucchini bread baking in an oven. So I'm just going to get straight to it and get started. Um, so the ingredients in here, I'm going to be using self-rising flour, three cups of self-rising flour, one and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon, three quarters of a cup of chopped pecans, three eggs, two cups of sugar, a cup of vegetable oil, three teaspoons of uh, vanilla extract. So, uh, but I'm gonna make, I'm gonna use two teaspoons of vanilla and a half a teaspoon of some maple extract in here. It's just gonna make a little bit of a different taste. Uh, I love the flavor of maple. And when you add it to any kind of uh, fall baking, it just gives it that extra good flavor. So I'm going to add a little touch of maple to mine. So, and two cups of shredded zucchini. I already put the zucchini in my, um, in my food processor. And whenever you do zucchini, this is my zucchini. Um, you want to squeeze the water out. I put, I just put this in a paper towel and gave it a squeeze. There wasn't a lot of water in it because zucchini is about out of season. Um, but make sure you squeeze it and make sure that, um, oh, and you're going to use an eight ounce can of pineapple crushed and you want to make sure it's well drained. So this is my pineapple. Now that's a whole can. I'm not going to use all that. I'm just going to use eight ounces of that. 
and I will just put it, um, I'll put it back in the refrigerator and we'll use it for another recipe because um, I love crushed pineapple. It's just, um, you can put it in a lot of things this time of year, especially for fall bacon. So also I'm gonna give you another tip. If you are doing, uh, of course, baking, anytime you're baking a cake or something, it calls for eggs. Make sure your eggs are room temperature, okay? Make sure your eggs are room temperature. Now these, are farm eggs. Now, if you get eggs, um, if you forget to lay them out, throw them in like a little bowl with some hot tap water for like a couple of minutes and that warms them right up, okay? But you always wanna make sure when you're baking that you're using room temperature egg. A big casino would be great with, hey, Jesse, a bit of singing. Hey, I will do a little song. This song this morning, with all the unrest going on, uh, I did have a song on my heart this morning, and it's a it's a worship song that we sing in our church a lot. And um, so let me get my stuff here. Let me crack my eggs. And it's called All My Hope Is In Jesus. All my hope is in Jesus. Thank God my yesterday is gone. And all my sins are forgiven. And I've been washed by the blood. I want to sing it one more time. Remember all your hopes in Jesus. All my hope is in Jesus. Thank God my yesterday's gone. And all my sins are forgiven. And I've been washed by the blood. Just remember that all of our hope is in Jesus. All of our hope's in Jesus. So I already cracked my eggs. Hey guys, say hello. I already cracked my eggs. See how well they crack? And these are farm fresh eggs. A friend of ours gets us these eggs. Well, a guy that works with my husband actually gets these eggs because uh, he raises chickens and he has chickens and um, that he just lets roam free. He lives over in Ohio. We live in Northern Kentucky, which is near the, near the Ohio border. And um, so he brings us farm fresh eggs and they're cheap and I love them. They're so much richer. They're better when you scramble them and you just want to eat an egg but I just love farm fresh eggs. I was raised up uh, raising chickens. So I'm originally from Southeast Kentucky. So um, I'm a mountain girl. And just like my my title, I'm a mountain girl. I was raising the head of a holler and um, down in Letcher County, Kentucky, a place called Tan Yard Holler. And I was raised on good old mountain food. So and that's the way I like to cook. So. I just got the eggs in here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, you You wanna do your eggs and your sugar and your vanilla and all your wet ingredients first. So this is three eggs. And to that, I am going to do my vanilla. So I'm gonna do two teaspoons of vanilla. Now I like McCormick, I like McCormick stuff. I always use McCormick flavors and um, I think to me, they're just better. And this is the maple, okay? And this is the maple going in. You can leave that out if you don't have it, but I think the maple just takes just so good. Three eggs just went in. And let me see where I'm, okay. A cup of vegetable oil. This is just canola oil. So you always wanna do your wet, and then you do your dry, then you're gonna fold in your pineapple and your zucchini, and then your nuts goes in last, okay? So this is my eggs, my vanilla, my maple, and my oil. Now we're gonna do sugar. Hey, Ginger, I am making pineapple zucchini bread. Hey, great boys, good to have you all day. Wish I was born. You were born in Albany, Kentucky. Never heard of Albany, Kentucky. So three, it's gonna call for two cups of sugar and you wanna add your sugar to your eggs and stuff too. So let me do that. This is a cup. 
So this is one. Two. Now I do a lot of baking for the fall. I'm actually, I do orders. I actually bake for people. They, they hire me to bake for them for a uh, holiday. So I buy up a lot of, I go to Costco. So this is Pioneer Sugar. I love Pioneer Sugar. And I like their big sack of uh, sugar. So I buy in bulk when it comes to flour and sugar and that kind of stuff because, um, I, especially this time of year, I do a lot of baking. And, um, and I do orders for local people for um, holidays. So I bake like candy and fudge and all that stuff and cakes. So look at there, what a sack of sugar. It's hard to find a big thing of sugar. But I'm gonna set this over here behind me. I get that at Costco. Um, I love Costco. <laughs> so I'm just gonna stir this up with my whisk. You don't have to, you don't have to use a hand mix or anything if you don't want to. Uh, I don't like to get out my mixer unless I have to. <laughs> I do like my KitchenAid. I use my KitchenAid for when I make frosting and cakes and stuff. But for the most part, I just whisk stuff by hand. See, look how yellow. See, that's because of them rich eggs. That's because of those eggs that are uh, farm raised and free, free Roman, I guess you'd call it. Smells good already. You can certainly smell the maple. And so, look at that. Oop. I love, I just love bacon. It makes me feel better to bake. If it makes you feel better to bake, drop them one. It does, it makes me feel better to bake. Me and Ken, Kenzie and I, I will say me and Kenzie, do you have a recipe for pecan pie? Becky, I don't have a personal recipe for a pecan pie. I do not, I don't, I haven't made pecan pie much. And when I have, I've just looked it up online and used it. And I don't remember exactly what pecan pie recipe I did use. But I haven't made a lot of pecan pies. So let me just set this right here out of the way. Now we're going to start with the dry. Let me make sure I got all my wet. Yeah. Eggs, sugar, oil. Good. All right. So now we're going to start on the dry. Where can I see your videos? Hey, Michelle. You can see them right here on my page, uh, Mountain Cooking with Missy. If you go and you scroll, uh, there should be a category there that comes up videos. You should be able to see all the videos I've posted, uh, all, any lives, if you just scroll down. I just started my page um, in September and so I'm still learning, so I'm still tweaking a lot of stuff and just a lot of things I'm learning myself. So if you just scroll on there, you should you should see it. You should be able to see an actual category that says videos. So try that and see if you can see any past videos that I've posted. So now we're gonna do the dry. This is self-rising flour. Now I don't like, anytime I bake, I like to use self-rising flour. Uh, sometimes I use all purpose on certain things, but when I make biscuits, I just use self-rising flour. I try to find a recipe that uses it instead of bothering with um, baking powder and all that stuff. I like my self-rising flour. So I've had people ask me, send me messages about flour. So I like to use different kinds of flour for different things, okay? Uh, I'm a big fan of Hudson cream flour. Um, I think it's the best for certain, especially uh, for like gingerbread and stuff. And I'm gonna be making gingerbread soon. And what I do, I'm gonna use Hudson cream flour. Today, I'm using gold metal. Gold metal self-rising flour. Um, I do like gold metal flour. And um, a lady that I went to church with years ago, this is all she would use. Gold metal is one of the oldest brands I think that's been around. But um, she always told me, she always told me, she said, she'd send me to the store for her. I used to go visit her. And she'd send me to the store and she said, now you get gold metal flour for me. So, so I want to put in three cups of self-rising flour. This is your dry. Now, anytime you're doing flour, you want to level off. I level it off with my finger. Don't pack, never pack flour in. Always um, just put it in and level it off. So put that out of the way. 
And I got my big farm bowl here. I forget where I got it. I'm a big sucker for bowls. I love bowls. I think bowls are just, uh, my mom likes bowls. So I'm kind of like her when it comes to bowls. Uh, and I wish I could have more bowls, but I ain't got room for them all. My cabinets aren't the biggest, so. Um, but anyway, so cinnamon, this calls for one and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon. So let me get my teaspoon out. This is a teaspoon. So it's one and a half. And anytime I'm using any kind of spices, uh, I, do, I do heaping, okay? So that's a heaping teaspoon. And it calls for a half, so I'll just do... And this is bulk cinnamon, because I use a lot of cinnamon, especially this time of year. So I'm trying to love me some zucchini pineapple bread. Yeah, hey Jeanette! It really makes a difference when you put the pineapple in, honestly guys, it really does. So I've got the, yeah, this is, let me get my other spoon now. So you got your self rising flour and your cinnamon in there. Now you want to stir these together first before you add your wit. And I just flopped it everywhere, but cinnamon just makes the house smell so good. So you want to stir it up really well. Make sure there's no clumps of your cinnamon in there. Now I'm going to be baking this in a loaf pan like this right here. I don't really know what size you call that. I just know it's a standard size loaf pan. Let me give it a spray. We'll spray it good. I just set that right there. So now you're going to add your wet. So now I'm going to add my eggs, my sugar, my oil, all that wet stuff in here. I love these rubber spatulas. They're just like the best thing since sliced bread to get stuff out. I love to use spatulas to, uh... now I just use my whisk because I don't want any lumps, okay? And I'm gonna show this to y'all so you guys can see. With any kind of bread or cake, if you're especially, even box cake mix, if you're using, um, don't over stir stuff because you will activate the gluten and you it'll get tough. You don't want biscuit, that's the same way with biscuits. You don't over stir uh, your stuff you don't uh, over mix because if you activate the gluten, then it can get tough. And any kind of breads or biscuits, you don't you want them light. You don't want them. It's not like yeast bread. Yeast bread is a little different. Now I make rolls usually for Thanksgiving and stuff. You have to need those. Uh, but when it comes to breads or anything, you don't want to over stir. You just stir until it's all incorporated. Now this is kindly thick because you're gonna be adding your zucchini, which still has water content, and you're gonna be adding your pineapple. And even though it's drained, it's still got a lot of water in it. Okay, so see, it's like a thick dough. And I'll just stir it and make sure I scrape the bottom. So in goes your zucchini. And in goes your pineapple. Now I'm not using the whole can of pineapple. So I'm using about a half of a standard big can. If you got an eight ounce can, use that. See that? So now you're just gonna fold.
and your nuts go in after you do this. It's so good. It smells good. Even before you bake it, it smells good. See, it's already loosening up because of the water content that's in your zucchini and your pineapple. already loosened up. Okay, now the pecans. It calls for three quarters a cup, so I gotta, I'm just gonna use, that's a cup and I didn't hardly fill it all the way up. And I'm just folding it in. And I'm doing this by myself, so normally, my little camera girl or my cameraman will be helping me so you guys can see, but it's it's okay. I just wanted to do a live. I thank you guys for watching and I thank you guys for sharing and all your kind comments. And this is uh, this is awesome. I love I love this. This is what I love to do, and I love sharing. And um, you know, there's. Some people just need to be, it's good to just get away from negativity. And it's just good to sometimes just uh, tune in and be happy. And be happy. All right, let me wipe up my mess a little bit. Now, I made one ahead of time. And I want to show you guys that here in just a minute. Now this is going to fill up, you have to have two of these, okay? This recipe, this recipe uh, is for two of these, because that's a lot. And I'm just gonna pour it in. What I do, I just plop it in here. There's different versions. You can find, look up and do like a sugar-free version. You can look up and do a, um, a version that's made maybe only with honey or maple syrup or molasses instead of refined sugar or white sugar. Uh, the, the possibilities are endless. I usually do a keto version or a low-carb version for my husband because, you know, he watches his sugar intake. Uh, and so this is gonna go about halfway there. Yep, so that's, a, that's good right there. See, so look at that. Now I'm gonna pop this in the oven. Just settle down your pan. Always make sure when you're baking anything, make sure you give it a jiggle from New York, hi! Just give it a jiggle and that's it. Now it's gonna go in the oven um, at 350 and the recipe, I have to look it up. I think the recipe said maybe for about an hour, but I always, I don't like to overbake anything, so I keep an eye on it. When it starts to brown on top and I give it a touch and I do the toothpick, as soon as that's clean, I get it out. Cause when you take stuff out of the oven, it actually continues to bake a little bit and I don't like anything over baked. I mean, I want it done, but if you over bake anything, you don't want it to dry out. So this is going in the oven. And here's one that I did earlier. So you guys can see, let me put this over here. I want you guys to see this. This is still a little hot, it's gonna burn my fingers. So let's cut a piece so you all can see it before we go. So I made one ahead of time. See, look at that. Mm, so the house is smelling really good today. And just slice into it straight across is usually how I do it. 
See? Just look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look how good it looks. So you got all the, I don't peel my zucchini because I like the green uh, little, I like the fiber. We need the fiber. I don't peel it. So, but you can see the little chunks of pineapple in there. There's the pineapple and the pecans. And this is so good. And it's good when it's warm. Just look at that. It's good. See the bottom? The bottom is done. Nicely brown. Not overdone. But it's still tender and moist in the middle. Oh, that's good. Good with a cup of coffee? Oh, yes. So there you go, guys. Zucchini bread. Mm -hmm. So, I will share the recipe as soon as I post this live. I will share the recipe for you guys. And um, that way you can make it. Try it with pineapple. It makes a difference. Trust me, it makes a difference. That's so good. A few little pieces of zucchini. There's some green. I'm spitting. See, now this freezes, you can freeze it. Um, once you bake it, wrap it really good. Wrap it really good in some saran wrap. Once it cools off, make sure it's cooled. Wrap it in saran wrap really good and seal it up and then wrap it. I usually do mine in a layer of aluminum foil. And then I put it like in a Ziploc bag. And I put it in the freezer. If you want to make it ahead for Christmas, um, that'd be perfect. Or slice it ahead of time. But, uh, you know, if you, you can do it either way. But that's how I freeze it. Freeze it ahead. Of, uh, freeze it once you bake it. It'll, it'll keep up until now, till Christmas. It won't dry out. You just want to make sure it's airtight. No air can get to it because that's what's going to cause it to dry out. And get that old freezer taste. You don't want that. But as you can see, look, it's got all those... All the flecks of the goodness in there. You can use walnuts if you wanted. If you don't want to have pe pecans, you can leave the nuts out. Some people just don't like nuts in their in their baking stuff, but I do. I love nuts. It's so good. Mm -mm -mm. All right, I'm gonna go. <laughs> so let me get my water. Gotta have my water. So anyway, I do thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Um, and be blessed. Know that uh, God is in control. And just keep praying for our country. Keep praying for our leaders. And most of all, just be encouraged today. Know that God loves you. Uh, Jesus loves you. He um, and you know, just keep your eyes on God and think of, um, think good thoughts. Think good thoughts. I say it all the time. Think good thoughts because God doesn't give us a spirit of fear, but he wants us to have a sound mind. And um, we get so much more done when we just get our minds off uh, things that just want to distract us. But get your mind off something. Go bake something. <laughs> Go bake this. I will share the video. But yeah, go bake this. I don't want to eat the rest of that because it's just too much for me. But I will definitely save this for later. But we're going to have two loaves of zucchini bread. So share it. If you bake it, share it. Give it to some friends. I will be giving some of this away. Definitely got church tonight. I usually take stuff to people. And we got elderly in our church. And my mom and dad like to, my dad especially likes to sample everything I do. So I have elderly mom and dad that just, uh, that I take everything to and I say, here dad, eat it. My dad always eats it. And of course my husband is always the ultimate taste tester and I try to make stuff for him to eat too. He won't be able to eat uh, this one because it's got sugar, but I always make a sugar-free version for him. But I will share the video, uh, the, the recipe. I thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you for watching Mountain Cooking with Missy where it's nothing fancy. It's just good eating. So you guys have a great day, okay?